We have a huge update to talk about today, and that's with Leonardo AI. Not one, but two new features. So make sure you stick around for the whole video because we have a ton of awesome things to cover. Content reference and multi-style reference. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button, but let's dive right into this. Okay, so the first one we're gonna focus on is gonna be the new content reference. It says, take the shape and form of any input image and use that to guide your image generation. So it's a great way to restyle existing images. It could also be combined with a style reference, which we'll do that in a second as well. Use an existing image as content reference and use a different style reference to transform an image. Variations use an existing image as content reference and tweak the prompt to create variations. And then text. Use an image of large text as a content reference and transform it into a highly stylized output. And then also keep in mind that Leonardo AI recommends that an in order to get the best generations, you definitely want to use any XL models. So for an example, I love using Albedo Base XL and also Kino XL. So once we're done taking a look at content reference, make sure you stick around because the next one is really going to blow your mind. This is amazing. And that's going to be multi-style reference. Okay, so now we're back over here in Leonardo AI and you could see I've already have been using this a ton and I have been getting some amazing looking images that are highly impressive right off the bat. And so a lot of these images have to do with the very unique kind of prompt I'm using in conjunction with the cinematic style of image. So the images and prompts I use to create those images, I'm going to share with you today. So make sure you check the links in the description, as well as this Leonardo AI mega prompts database, which is getting more and more prompts added to it almost every day. I'm going to have thousands in here very soon. And every single prompt is also combined with the tag of fine tune model Model, along with all these different views like this one right here is a gallery view so I can quickly look at what sort of image I want to create once I discover one I like I can expand it open it up and then boom there is the whole entire prompt I used with the dynamic preset and then my fine-tuned model was albedo base XL when you use a combination of those prompts and those models you'll get an image that looks just like this for now when you use these new two features in Leonardo AI you're gonna be able to take any variation of an image and then you could actually use it as a content or a style reference image to get some very amazing creations of your own. This prompt was actually used to generate this image right here. So what we're going to do is do a combination. So I'm specifically going to use these images that you see right here. Again, here is the whole entire prompt that made this one. This prompt will make images that look just like this and this is one of my favorite prompts to use. Okay, so don't worry about having to pause the video to write this long prompt down. I'll also include this one as well in the description. You're going to be amazed at what the combination of what these new two features can do. And that is exactly how I was able to get these right here. Now, if I expand this, look at how amazing this looks right here when I did what I'm about to show you right now. Since we're over here in Leonardo AI, the first thing you want to do is just head over to image guidance. Now, since I've been using it, I'm going to go ahead and then just X out of everything I've been using. Make sure you have Alchemy V2 turned on. This is going to make a big difference. Again, I'm an albedo base XL and I'm going to use dynamic for the first one. Head over to image guidance. So now that I am here, the first thing you want to do is just select add an image to get started. So to make things easy, let me just show you how I made the first one you just saw. Here's my astronaut right here. I'm going to confirm this one and then enter him right here on the left hand side. Now, here's what's important to keep in mind. Right now, underneath type, it defaults to image to image. Select this drop down box and then make sure you actually have content reference selected references the content from the input image to guide your generated image. And so now let's add a little bit of creativity to this. So for that, I'm going to come over here and then copy some of these keywords. Let me show you the power of some of these unique keywords. I'm going to leave it as high for now and I'll show you a few examples. Okay, right now my strength is high. Let me show you what it's going to look like for each. Once these are done generating, we'll go to the rows and see what sort of images we got. Because remember, based on the strength of your choice, it's going to determine the amount of control control you're going to give Leonardo AI. So when you have it on the low side, you're giving Leonardo AI more control. And then you can actually see this over here on Leonardo AI's instructions. Now, again, it says this specifically when you use 
low, the loosest content guidance allows for a great deal of freedom with the output image. Your prompt will have significantly greater influence with this, okay? So when it's low, your prompt will have a significantly greater influence, okay? Mid, mid will drive the output to be much closer to your input image, but still allow for a good degree of freedom via prompting. High will conform most strictly to your input's shape and form. Your prompt will primarily restyle it. So that's exactly why I did one of each just now, just so you can visually see the dynamic and the different characteristics that you're gonna get. So once we see what Leonardo AI generated from this first one, I'll then show you you the possibilities of when you're using a combination of both content reference in conjunction with style reference. Okay, now check this out. Now let's just go to our first row right here. And then just from the looks of it, look at what an amazing job that this did. Fascinating. Keep in mind the very first row, let me go ahead and open up my generation info. You could see right here, content reference was at 2.00, the highest form. Now, do you remember what the highest form means? Here it is again. This will conform most strictly to your input's shape and form, and your prompt will primarily restyle it. This did an amazing job. It took more strength from my actual image, okay? Here are the second set of images that we got. All three of these did a great job, okay? So you can look at the subtle differences between this very first creation and then the second one. But now let me show you what we got when I move the toggle button, the strength level, to the lowest end. And that's gonna be this very first row right here, okay? Same prompt, if I go over to my general info, you could see my content reference is down to 0.66, which is the lowest end. And then look at the variations we got right here. So notice since it's on the lowest end, it's going to give more creativity and flexibility to perhaps allow Leonardo AI to change poses or to change the features of the actual subject within the image itself. So that's why on this first one, it matches more closely to my original image. The second one adds a little bit more creativity, but then when it's really set to low, now that's why my astronaut right here is completely different style of pose. You could see earlier today, it did the exact same thing. I did the same exact image, but now it's giving me a totally different sort of person and it's not necessarily a astronaut. I just simply put people walking in the mountains and then because it was the low strength, Leonardo AI put more emphasis on my actual prompt. So the prompt will have more meaning when the strength is set to the lower end. Okay, now let's really start to change things up a little bit, okay? We're gonna add a second image. So right now I have image guidance on. I'm gonna change this back to high and I'm gonna add a second image and it's gonna be this image right here. I love the way this looks. Okay, and now the important part over here in type, now I'm gonna select style reference, extracts the style from a reference image and injects it into your generated image. So make sure that's selected this time and I have them both on high. Now let's see what we get with a few different variations. So before we do that, we first have to type in a prompt, a woman walking lost in the mountains. So based on my different strength levels, let's see what we're gonna get when these are different variations. I'll generate it first like this where they're both set to high, okay? Now on the right hand side, style reference, I'll change this to max, and then I'll change this back to mid, and then move my content reference on the left hand side to low. Okay, now check out all of these amazing variations that we got, all dependent upon what level of strength that we're using. So if I expand this one, notice this. Now, since I put a woman, right, and based on the strength input, it's taking more of what my prompt said, it's giving more strength to my prompt, and now that's why when I put a woman, it's completely transforming my image from an astronaut to now I'm getting an actual woman. This time I also put walking in the mountains, but now since on the right hand side, I chose this image as my style reference, it's maintaining those qualities and that look and feel where I'm still getting that radiance or that glow surrounding the bottom of her feet. Now, once I have my strength to the lower end where I'm going to give Leonardo AI more flexibility to take control, it's going to add more strength to my prompt. Then you could see it could even take things a step further with an image that looks like this, all dependent upon your strength levels. But where it really shined was on these right here. Okay, now let's take things up a notch. Now let me show you how you can generate some amazing looking text by using content reference as well. What we're going to do is head back over to image guidance yet again. And to get a good idea of what I was able to generate earlier, check out this right here. Look at this image right here. This did a fantastic job generating text for me, okay? And that's what I'm about to show you right now. So let's do that. Let's go back over to
over to image generation. And now this time I'm going to select image guidance and we're going to do the same thing, add an image. So again, as a reminder, if you haven't seen my video about how to actually use image guidance to create text, make sure you do watch this video right here. It walks you through the whole entire process. But quite simply, if you haven't, the first thing you have to do is just simply have a document that has a white or a black background with then black or white text, depending on your background. Let's just choose this one that says Rolex. Again, we're going to use this as content reference. Okay. So let's leave it as our default strength. But first, again, remember, your type, it's important to keep in mind, move this to content reference. So with that said, let's leave it as high and let's now type in the prompt that we're looking for. So with this basic word Rolex, now let's do it with this prompt right here. Select generate and then see what happens. Again, I'll do it in both high, mid and low, but now let's take things even further again. Leaving this in here, I'm going to change it back to high. Now I want to add a second image input. Okay, this time we're going to do what we did earlier. I want to use these characteristics where I got this woman right here. Okay, I really like this glowing neon style. Hit confirm. And now again, I'm going to change this to style reference on the right hand side. Okay, now I have two selected. The cool thing about this is I could actually use four. We're going to use two just for today, but you can actually input four images for content and or style reference. Okay. Awesome. Look at this first row right here. This did a fantastic job. I love the way this turned out. Now, these images were solely created just by using one image guidance image, content reference, and then just that one simple prompt I shared with you. Okay. Now, on the second row, our content reference is going to be mid. Now, with mid, look what we got right here. I think mid did the best job. Now, second row right here, these images are just jaw dropping incredible. Now, if you were impressed with those images and those capabilities, wait until you see the next thing. Now let's move on to multi-style reference. So what exactly is multi-style reference? Here we are again in Leonardo AI's Discord. It says, launching today, you can now add up to four style references and weight them independently. Note that the strength of style reference is shared between the references, but then the weight of each reference can be independently adjusted. So it says, this is a feature for creators wanting to blend and mix different styles with precision. The creative potential is huge. Now, once you select a strength from low to max, it's going to apply across every image. But now look at the fourth bullet point. Shift the influence of individual reference images using the slider. I'll show you what this means, okay? But here is an example within their Discord of exactly what they got. With all of these images combined, once you scroll through them, you could see the different variations, but it's it's the same exact shoe. So now that we're back over here in Leonardo AI, let's try to do just that. So in my search bar, I'm just going to type in shoe and look at what sort of images I already have for shoes. Let's say I like this one. I'll download this image. There it is. Now that I have my shoes selected, again, we're going to go back to image guidance. Okay. Make sure you have them both turned on and then remove any image you already had in here. And again, underneath type, select style reference. Now from here, I'm going to go over to a second image on the right hand side and now add another one. Now let's drag this image that's going to have a very bioluminescent glow. And now that one is in here also as a style reference. Now on the right hand side, I'm going to move this to ultra. Okay. That's because I want it to reflect more of the image. So on both of these, I have both of these selected as high. So notice if I have them both at low or if I go to mid, whenever I choose a different strength, it also happens to the other one. Okay. So that's where it's going to happen across the board. If I go high, if I go ultra, it makes both images become that. But this is where you can take matters into your own hands individually. So if I have it on high right here, now on the right hand side, influence, it says the amount of influence this style reference image will have on the final output relative to other style reference images. So let's make this influence go much higher to 0 0.80. OK, and I'm going to leave the one on the left as style reference just defaulted in the middle as high 0.50. So now with my new prompt, it's going to add more influence to the right hand image, hopefully making these Jordans take on more of a neon glow. So let's do that. So in my prompt, let's just say uh, Jordan shoes bioluminescent. 
Okay, just simple three words. Let's select generate on this one. Now, again, what I'll do right now is I'll generate these at all different styles, okay? Now, before we look at what we got with these images, let's just take things up even higher. Let's add four images total, okay? I'm gonna make sure all my aspect ratios are the same. And then you also wanna make sure that you have style reference listed for all of them. Now, you can mix and match things up and have style reference as all of them, and then also have have content reference as one as well. So let's just try that. This last one, I'm gonna have content reference selected. Let's select generate with all four images, okay? Now let's change things up. This one on the bottom right, I'm gonna remove back to style reference. And now I'll make the very first one my content reference image, okay? Now it's on high and all of my other style references are toggled differently, but I'll change the influence much higher. So a lot of different variations can be made specific to the level of strength that you're gonna be getting. Look at these different variations that I have. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love everything on all these images. Again, scrolling up, things get a lot more different the higher we go, okay? So now that we're adding multiple images, Okay, multiple styles, they're gonna change the game up. But notice how I have different poses, okay? So for an example, on this one right here, I got everything I was looking for as far as the style, the glowing characteristics, and that gradient level. So it really depends on the different variations that you're giving it. Again, these images are all fascinating, and I'm highly impressed with everything that we were finally able to get. So there you have it again, another fascinating update by Leonardo AI. But let me know what you guys think. And if you could share any of your own image generations, please do so in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.